as we started getting into the later 70s, some of the style started to change. We started to see some real character come into houses, some maybe quirky, unique features that you wouldn't see in the cookie cutter houses of the 60s. Community areas grew a little larger, so you'd have some living space in a conjunction to the kitchen versus earlier that was completely separated. You'll see where master bedrooms started to get um, at least a bathroom, either a half bath or a full bath in there. Folks were living in a lot more of a, a minimalist lifestyle and so didn't have the demand for quite as large as closet space. We've changed a lot in the last three decades or so. And so again, smaller bathrooms, smaller bedrooms, smaller closet space, and then a little bit more community area. So we ended up doing all new windows due to the fact that the old ones were starting to get fogged. They're from 1977. We ended up replacing all the floors. Um, we ended up doing a new roof. Some of the siding was a little bit old, so we replaced that as well. New door, new garage door. It works really good because I like to have a lot of family over for entertaining. I like to have a lot of friends over. So for having everybody over, it's nice with the patio because I can have everybody come and hang out. So this particular house was built in 1993 and it's 2,000 square feet. It's an example of homes that started to gain volume over the ranch styles that you saw in the 70s. The rooms became a little less compartmentalized. You saw it moving into the great room era and it was a more efficient construction for the time because you got more square footage on the same foundation and roof footprints. We purchased this home in 2014 and looked at a lot of homes before this one, but this was the only one that we looked at that had the vaulted ceilings and the kitchen that opened up completely to the dining room. Also, we have three children, so we needed over three bedrooms, which is difficult to find. So this one was sold with five. It was the transition between two by four walls and two by six walls. And we had a period of time where R11 to R13 was the, the value of the insulation in the walls and uh, R30 ceilings. And we transitioned into the R19, R21 wall assemblies and the vinyl windows. Well, entertaining has changed over the years, so you know, it used to be that you'd have uh, the kitchen separate off of the, the rest of the house and, and you didn't want to have that exposed to, to your guests. Now the kitchen's become the centerpiece. People want to show off the kitchen, they want to show off their beautiful cabinets and their finishes and that change in how people host and how they entertain and how the family hangs out as a unit has really driven this layout, the design change in houses. People want to be connected in the house, they don't want to have that separation and so it seems to fit our modern lifestyles. A lot of people are working from home now, so an office on the main floor is a good option for them. Additionally, that same space could be used for another family member moving in, so a lot of requests also for full baths on the main floor opposed to just a half bath. Space upstairs, open loft area, additional media room is a, is a plus, but not always a, a must. Spacious bathroom, still very popular. Seeing less soaking tubs, but more um, larger showers. We take it to the next level with a blown and bad insulation and also uh, air sealing techniques that so we're going through and we're making sure that any potential air leak or airflow issue in the house is sealed up. Uh, we do several quality checks on the houses to make sure that they are super, super airtight. One of the things that um, buyers are looking for are healthy homes. They're not necessarily looking for energy efficient. So all the products that you see in this house have been certified so that they uh, have low off-gassing. So instead of taking five years um, for your house to get rid of most 80% of its gases, it does that, you know, in the first six months.